all got internet personas. Internet personas we hide behind. Hello everybody, it is me, Joey, or Kraken King. Uh, whatever you want. And um today I'm I'm going through with even more dumb things I did as a kid. Uh, part 2 edition, but you, remember, you, you should go watch part 2, it's right up there right now, but uh, you don't have to, um, it's not like they're in order, but I highly suggest watching it, there are some funny stories in there, and one that even includes my friend Secret Tuna, so yeah, and Hunter, if you're watching this, uh, go watch that video, because it, it is hilarious, okay, not really, but it, it's good, just go Go watch it. Not not right now, though. After this video. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I think you guys got the memo now. Um, anyways. More dumb things I have done as a kid. So, when I was 10, uh, my father needed help repairing a car. Fixing a car. And he needed me to turn it on and just rev it up, essentially. And that's pretty simple. But, um, when I went to go shut it off, I turned it on. Now, if you do not know anything about cars, I was like 10, so I I knew some things. All I knew was engine, wheels, body panels, and that was about it. And uh, that was the extent of my knowledge back then. But now I'm much more knowledgeable and realize you do not turn the key the same way you turn it on. Otherwise, you can blow up the fucking car. Now, 10-year-old Joey obviously didn't realize this because he turned the key to the turn-on position while it was already turned on. And, basically what I did is turn it on while it's on, and it goes... And that's not good when it is a Super Impreza from 2005 that doesn't have a V8 engine in it, and it shouldn't sound like... It should not sound like that. It should sound not, but okay, but it did sound like that because I turned it on while it was on. And here's the real kicker: I get I get this look from my father, and he says, "Joey, I want you to turn it off, not turn the damn thing back on again. You're gonna fuck up the engine if you do that." And I proceed to turn it again. To the on position. I don't know what was wrong with me. I think I was fucking stupid in the brain. Because who the fuck takes an order like that and says, You know what? I think this is the right way. It's like I didn't know my left from my right. And I turn it to the on position again. And I feel like a fucking dumbass. Because who the fuck turns it to the on position twice? Maybe once. That is acceptable. But my dumbass did it twice. So... That is our first lovely story. Now, our second story. Oh boy, this is fun. This is truly fun. You see, when I was but a ye little lad in second grade, I had a PlayStation 2. Because it was a hand-me-down for my brother, because he just got the PlayStation 3. And it played alright. It was, it was a pretty good console, and one of my favorite games to play on it was Jack 3, which was, a, I'd say, a pretty known game, if you're on the uh, older si side of the teen teenage years, and it, it was a solid game, in my opinion, you know, definitely, definitely fun, and my brother said he had it at a 100% complete state, he had all the easter eggs unlocked, all, all the eggs, and all the infinite ammo, and all, all the, everything was unlocked, and he said, yeah, there's only two stages you can go on now, because he finished everything, so it was this, like, city, and then this desert land that was, like, Jack's Garage, I think, and, if I'm remembering this correctly, and I say, well, I want more worlds, and proceed to start a new game over that game, over that save game. I'm not sure if there were other options, I think there were, but my dumbass just decided, let's just, you know, create a new game on top of this one. Once again, I was in second grade, so I was pretty young, but still... That was fucking stupid. Who the fuck does that? Who the fuck says, yeah, yeah, looks like, look at that. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to overwrite that save. Oh, God, I was fucking, I don't know. That was stupid. Now, I pouted about that for 
three weeks straight. And my brother tried to get it back, but he couldn't. So, yeah. Kind of a dumb thing I've done. Now, yet another story. But first, a word from our sponsor. Me. What 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 did you think? I, I was big enough to get a fucking sponsor? No, you dumbass. Go, go subscribe. Come on. Let's go. Chop, chop. Yeah, I should probably be nicer to you guys, considering you're the the reason uh, my channel is kind of succeeding. So please consider subscribing. Uh, we make content all the time, and I, I I love making these stories for you. They're they're very fun, and they make me feel like a fucking dumbass. So you know, very fun, all around. I mean, you guys get good stories from my childhood, and I get to bring up repressed memories from my childhood. Okay, maybe not good all around. It's good for you guys, but not me. Now, anyways, next story, our third story. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Now, our next story is not because of me, but uh, because of somebody else. It's not a dumb thing I did, but a dumb thing another child did. We will name her... Uh, I don't even remember her real name. I kind of repress this a lot. Uh, we will name her... Who was the lead girl in the Hunger Games? One sec. Okay, okay, guys. We will call her Jennifer. So, you already know Hunter. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, and he invites me down for, for a few games. You know, we're hanging out. We played some Call of Duty. And then he calls over some other friends, you know, or, or they were already there. I, I don't remember the specific details. And we play a game called Hunger Games. You hide your weapons and you basically, you, you roll a dice or you get to pick out of a hat, and basically, you stash a weapon, and you cannot pick up that weapon, and everybody stashes a weapon around their yard, like a fake weapon, a toy weapon. Somebody got a fucking mallet, okay? And it was a wooden mallet for crick crickle ball, is that what it's fucking called? I don't know. Anyways, somebody got a fucking mallet, and hit it, in pretty much plain sight, and you see Jennifer, uh, being the fucking smart person she is, decides, I'm gonna pick this up, picks it up, proceeds to hit me over the fucking head with it. I had no weapon, nothing to defend myself with, I just had to let it happen. I was not bleeding out of my head, but I had a terrible headache, uh, I was in immense pain, I was almost in tears, Not, not yet. And then I fell to the fucking ground. Now I'm in tears, because, number one, I get hit over the head. Then I fall on the ground. Now I'm in tears. I forget how old I was. So I go home. I tell my mom. She goes to Jennifer's house. Complains to her father. I haven't seen Jennifer since that day. Uh, I'm not sure what she's up to now. Hopefully not hitting kids with mallets. Yes, it was t uh, supposedly an accident. I'm not entirely sure about that, though. But people say it was an accident. People who were there say it's an accident. So I'm just going to go with it and say it was an accident. So, Jennifer, fuck you. Oh, God. Okay. Moving on to our next and final story for tonight, dear friends. My neighbor used to take me to car shows. Not car meets, no, car shows. Very expensive, not luxury cars. I don't want to say luxury cars because they were not lux luxurious. Kind of rarer cars, older cars, too. And he had a Ford Lightning. So, you know, kind of that's a kind of rare car. And it's a pretty nice car, in my opinion. And I'm not a big Ford person, but he kept it clean and decent. But, uh, that, that's not the main issue with our story here today, guys. You see, there was this lovely, uh, I think it was a Mustang GT500 from 1968, I think the guy said the year was. Uh, he knew the exact everything about this car. He put a, a big, burly V8, I forget, I think it was an LS3 V8 at the time. Lovely, supercharged, it was a loud, lovely, nice car, and it was from the 1960s, but he was pushing at least three to 400 horsepower with that engine alone. He had a lot of money poured into this car. 
and I scraped the fucking fender. I don't know what, but on the side of my pants, you know, there's usually a little, like, uh, copper thing. If you look on your jeans right now, there's a little copper thing. And I guess I walked way too close to this car, and I scraped it, and I look over, and I say, well, I was, like, eight or seven or six at the time, so I didn't say, oh, shit, I said, that's not good. And then proceeded to not not tell the guy and, and just walk away. Yep. Nobody knows about that except for you guys. I'm not sure how I feel about you guys knowing that. Uh, when does a mission of guilt want run out? I think I think I'm good. I suppose I am good. So, uh, random car guy out there, sorry about your fender. Uh, it's probably not a cheap rep repair because it was it was. A 68 Mustang, so I'm sorry, but I'm not really because I I, I don't know. It, it's been years, so I can give a fuck less. That was like seven years ago. <laughs> so, yeah, those were some of my childhood stories. Yes, I've done a lot of dumb shit. Yes, you did too, and I know it. Because there are two things that kids are. Number one, dumb asses, and number two, assholes. And, well... We all were both of those things. So just remember, guys, you can't deny it because everybody has dumb childhood stories. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you, and consider subscribing. So, this is Kraken King, out. Peace. up like Pangea. I was hoping that we could reform a land bridge between our separate pieces of the earth before our disconnect began to breed a species that would hurt much more than carnivores.